After a long journey, the experiencer reached a place like he had never seen before. And there were other spirits, equally surprised, standing in their pride, but welcoming those exhausted travelers. These great teachers had many gifts to offer for the experiencer. They, who said that they found what they were looking for, had found a way to escape their restless wandering and traveling by artfully constructing a cage around them to protect them from the great powers of the universe and the temptations to chase them. Following this form of purpose, they collected a great amount of things to help to make their being easier, more comfortable and safer. With their great power of imagination, they had found a way to terraform their surroundings, to let the miraculous energy of sun and rain give their abundance to help the green friends to manifest themselves as much as they needed and exactly where they needed them. The experiencer was in shock when he witnessed that these spirits had the ability to create fire out of their bare hands and to control this element of great power to their advantage. They had made very smart inventions to allow them to imagine new ways of living and to develop a culture in which their descendants had the chance to imagine what their ancestors could have never had imagined. This empowered them to reimagine how to satisfy their needs by inventing more tasteful and more complicated foods and by making a wonderful art out of the process. But the experiencer had the feeling that they would never be fully satisfied. No matter how complicated and perfected their foods will become. Because after he had filled his belly with their unbelievably delicious food, he still did not feel satisfied. He was still wondering and he did not know what the purpose of this experience is.
the experiencer realized that these spirits did not move physically forward on a path like him, but their movement happened stationary on the path of technical improvement, more comfort and safety. These spirits, with their already great skills and knowledge, and their dedication to further develop them, sometimes seemed almost like divine creatures to the experiencer, or at least like creatures trying to reach a godlike level of controlling what surrounds their experience. The experiencer did not know if he would want to try to control and like that limit the flow of experiences around him. He was still fascinated by the thrill of moving forward into uncertainty and by the great mystery of the time still to come. In a way, the experiencer admired these spirits for their great humbleness and contentment in living and being fully rooted in one place for their entire time of experiencing and voluntarily abstaining from the wonders of the pursuit of the path of uncertainty. The more that he learned from these teachers, the more he realized how different they all were between themselves and especially compared to the experiencer himself. And with that thought, a big and revealing idea came to the experiencer's mind. Since everything that he could find in existence was unique, he could not find a single leaf of a tree that was exactly the same like another. Because everything here was an individual creation. Because of that, it was maybe wrong to ask what is the purpose of existence? Maybe we all have to find our own individual path and we have to ask what is the purpose of my existence? <laughs> <laughs>